So I'm Alex, I work at Rackspace. I'm just going to put through my little credentials for a bit because what I'm going to talk about um, will make me seem like maybe I'm too young for it. Um, I was an intern at Red Hat about three and a half years ago. Lana hired me, <laughs> worked with her for a bit, and then uh, skipped over to Rackspace and then she took me again. <laughs> so, <laughs> anyway, uh, last year now, I had the opportunity to uh, go to California. And what I was able to do over there is I uh, was a part of a book sprint. Raise your hands if you know what a book sprint is. Yeah, we got four, five. <laughs> this is going well, guys. <laughs> okay, so like sprinting has absolutely nothing to do with running as far as documentation is concerned, but you are definitely sprinting to the finish line. So what it is, is opens, I work for... Rackspace and I do uh, OpenStack documentation. So Lana was like, off you go, go to California. And I went and I was like, okay, this is a bit scary, what am I doing? And what actually happened was I was locked in a room for 13 days in VMware with, 13 days, sorry, five days with 13 writers. And we were asked to write an entire book, entire documentation suite. And we wrote the OpenStack architecture design guide, which has issues now. So if anyone has any comments, keep them to yourself. <laughs> we're working on it. <laughs> Anyway, so what my talk was is all going to be about sprints versus swarms. Does anyone know what a swarm is? Documentation swarm. You've got one, two, and I know Jodos. <laughs> okay, a documentation swarm is kind of along the same lines. You have one day, as many people as you want in a room, locked again. You got food this time, though, so like, yes. We were actually given no food uh, in that other room. So, yes, one day, and you are asked to write as much as you can. So you say, uh, for what we did is uh, we had some colleagues and OpenStack team turned to us and they said, hey, we want a networking guide. And we went, all right, all right how bad could that be? Answer is bad. Uh, <laughs> but the point is we sat there and we tried to come up with a skeleton. Everyone understand knows what a documentation skeleton is? Yep, yep. Anyone who doesn't? You know, sit down. <laughs> okay, so we spent the day coming out with a skeleton. And... I'm not going to lie, that was incredibly difficult. And I guess what I'm trying, because this is meant to be a five minute talk that I won't lie, have not planned. Um, so what I'm trying to do is compare and contrast a swarm and a sprint and how you all can use it. I would 100% recommend a sprint. This is like an experience talk. Do you guys have something that you can out quickly? Anyone have something like they think, oh my God, I need this upgrade guide or I need an install guide or something community orientated? Anyone? Yeah, we've got two. <laughs> yeah, Zach does. This is something I totally recommend you propose. 13 days locked in a room, you get stuff done. <laughs> we had a moderator, Adam. Um, he would not let us have any food. If anyone knows Adam Hyde. Uh, he, okay, okay. Lana knows everything, guys. This is what we've gathered from this. <laughs> Just, yeah, okay, go, down, go away, know it all. We've had enough. Well, what they did is you literally, you get breakfast. You stay in till lunch, you're not allowed to take any food in, you have, some food. you have half an hour for lunch, you go back in, you don't leave until about anywhere between 8 and 12. You get stuff done, guys. This is like me trying to promote this. And I, this is more like I want some questions from you guys if you have any questions about how this works, because I can't keep standing up here and saying it's good. Uh, yeah, let's go. Oh, yeah. I, I will. You were you were locked in a room yeah. with no food. Make me understand why that's good. <laughs> <laughs> really good question. Let's face it. <laughs> okay, so I'm not even going to bother lying about the fact that there was some really really angry tech people in there. Like, whoa! It actually be like it's. I would like to rephrase my question. <laughs> Differentiate what you have described from imprisonment and slavery. <laughs> Actually, none. <laughs> uh, how do I describe this as good? It's, you know when you're given a deadline and someone says to you, you have to get this d done. There's absolutely no way we're going to let you out of this room unless you do it. What's the motivation there? You, you want to go home. And that's it. Our motivation every day was, okay, we've come here for breakfast. Let's try and work as fast as we can because we figure if we work fast, lunch will come quicker. 
and we can talk to the person next to us. You know, we can make a new friend. And then yeah. lunch half later, and we were, motivation was work as fast as we can so we can go the fuck to bed. I mean, you work for four hours straight, eight hours straight. But there is a book, guys. Go have a look at that book. It is open source, and you all can work on it. This is also my little like, pep talk on, like, go work on open source, guys, and open stack. Just saying. It's pretty cool. Yeah, David Ryan. Oh, whoa, I got a microphone. Okay. Okay, other companies that uh, worked on this effort? Uh, no, anyone who was working on OpenStack um, documentation upstream, we had guys from Comcast, Mirandus, uh, we had whew, Red Hat people, we had Steve Gordon, of course you know Steve Gordon, um, from Red Hat, pardon? VMware, VMware Rackspace, um, Verizon, think they were our group. So it was sort of like the OpenStack community were like, hey, we've got this book, we need it done. And it's happened before, we've got the security guide up, uh, the ops guide as well, I believe. We're all done from documentation sprints. Up the back, this grey shirt first, Captain Grey. Do, okay, great. It is, yeah, sorry, just is, the question was, is this to get a first cut? And yes, it is. The idea of these documentation students and swarms is so that we can get a prototype almost. So we can sort of say, hey, look, this is a basis. This is like, you know, one's a small skeleton, swarm, one's a big skeleton, and that we can work further. One of the projects I'm working on currently, um, basically in my spare time, because I have lots of other stuff to do with Rackspace, but it's going, reading through that document and fixing some of the grammatical and spelling errors that we've made. It's not going to be perfect. It never will be. And, like, I was one of the copy editors on it, and I'm rereading it now thinking, oh, my freaking God. Like, how did I miss the fact that the word the is spelt backwards? But you do, right? Like, <laughs> you're literally delirious. My uh, Twitter handle is Tuesday because on Tuesday I drank Mountain Dew, and I was so psycho, hyperactive, bouncing off walls crazy. I went to bed at 4 a.m. American Mountain Dew is not the same. It's not the same. Uh, didn't... Ginger? Oh, that's horrible, isn't it? Um, red. Really good question. Okay, so the question was like, how do you decide how the work gets um, basically divided up? Yep, correct. So what it was is we looked at all the professionals in the room and we said, okay, what are your strengths and what are your weaknesses? Uh, only two of us were writers, myself and Beth Cohen. Uh, oh, sorry, and um, Nick Chase, Nicholas Chase from Morantis. And it was basically, <laughs> okay, you three, you are going to do the editing bit. I'm like, okay, thank you for that direction. That was, <laughs> that was terrific. And then the rest were all uh, techies. Some were sysadmins, some were developers. Two minutes, guys. Um, so if you have a question, just like raise your hand. We'll do it really quick. Um, and we divided it up as to what the expertise was. You know, and we had a, the way the moderators work was they come to us and they said, okay, we need to immediately decide on how the skeleton, like what's going to be the content, how are we going to separate that content, and what is needed. We have a base. Literally, what the OpenStack Foundation gives us is we need a architecture design guide. Off you go. And so we have to come out with that. And obviously, it goes back in the community. It's get, it gets reviewed, uh, which is currently in process of. So if any of you actually are interested in reviewing this document and getting involved, I'd really like it if you could contact me or anyone on the OpenStack Foundation. Um, I'm kind of running the review process-ish. But we need people to read, review, and look at some content. And I'm done. What's the document called? Architecture Design Guide. OpenStack Architecture Design Guide, yeah. Any more questions? Yes? It sounds great if you're a It is. It, that's just, um, that's exactly it. Sorry, the question was how do you, as someone who is a not uh, in wise to be involved as just a volunteer. Yeah, more or less. Uh, literally, um, the way you work on any open source upstream documentation, you work, you get involved, you're in mailing lists, and this was volunteer based, except I was voluntold. <laughs> it was like, hey, what you doing in July? Uh, nothing. <laughs> Guess where you're going. <laughs> literally was the question, actually. I could find the email if you wanted. Um, anyway, I'll put my little I Twitter handle up here so you guys can see. Um, and if anyone is interested in getting more involved... Oh, Jesus. Okay, I'm aggressive. Uh, if anyone's invo interested in getting involved, 
we would love to have you there. Plus, like, I just want people to volunteer to do things for me. Like, I would feel so important. Which is obviously what's important here. All right, uh, I think I'm done. Any more questions?